clearly, right? Not a lot of lawyers around can handle this case. He said he wants somebody who can defend him and not throw him to the wolves. You know that he has the unwritten on his side, right? I can't, I can't say much until I come to the office. Yeah, we can proceed with a few questions and answers that may be of help to his defense. Cool. <laughs> Listen, you need to stop making jokes out of this case. <laughs> what are you up to this early morning? You seem very awake already. Mm, yeah, I'm just trying to have coffee. I'll be at the office very soon. Okay. You're not a serious person. day of my life. She was larger than life. I, I knew when she died that a huge part of me would be torn away forever. But it's been 12 years already. It feels like 12 months to me. And then the memories don't even make it any easier. Yeah. I know no loss can be that greater than that of your mother. But you cannot continue like this. Life has to go on. You know, I wish she was here to see what I've become. She had hopes and dreams. She made sacrifices. You know, she forgot all my pain after my father left her. Sasha, believe me. She was the last of the strong ones. And I know your mother, wherever she is right now in heaven, of course, she will be so happy and proud of the girl that you had today. Trust me. Hmm? I will. She made me promise her not to ever leave my home or else my children will suffer. Look, I'm just... I'm just praying for the strength not to go back on that promise. Girl. That shouldn't be part of your worry. You have a very nice man that loves you so much for who you are. And you're still worried about things that are not important. You know what? Sucking right now should be the last thing on our mind. Yeah. Yes. Because we have a huge case in court tomorrow. Okay. What were you saying about the man's case? It's a really tough one. And if we lose this case, we'll have our heads on the chopping blocks. Oh my god. I really tough in bed. And then Jeffrey's family murder case, how's that going? Oh. It's been adjourned till June 2nd. What? I'm telling How you. How come? Babe, murder case right now in the system is really so tough. Moreover, the evidence brought by the prosecution before the courts has been done away with Hearly across examination. Witnesses, so. That's a tough one. See, listen, come, come on. You, you are very good at what you do. You're a great lawyer. All right? So you got this. And, and I don't even remember when last you lost the case. I hope so, honestly. Because at this point, this is becoming so tough for me. 
And why is that? Justice Mori called me yesterday to complain about the fact that my client's police statement does not tally with the court's testimony. So therefore, the court has dismissed the case. Can you imagine? That's really a tough one. I doubt we'll be singing victorious this time. I'm just going to stay positive. So how's George? George, he went to Dubai for a business trip. Dubai? Mm -hmm. I didn't go with him. <laughs> if you what? want other girls to go snatch your money, hey, you know what? Combine you know. him with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I don't want that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have work to do. I could have gone. I wish I went. to slip this into her fingers. What do I say? What do I say? How, how do I play with words before I do that? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah. <clears throat> when I look into the future, I see a picture of two of us living the best of our lives forever. No, 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 no. Doesn't make any sense. Ah. <clears throat> okay. When I look into the future, I like to picture the two of us as trees growing side by side with our roots growing stronger together and our children sprouting like seedlings all around us. <laughs> ah. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I need help. Who do I call now? Who do I call? Hey, what's up? Hope I didn't wake you up. Not at all. Baby girl is up already, zipping a sexy slimming tea. <laughs> Wonders of looking pink. <laughs> you can say that again. A girl has to do what a girl has to do to look hot and sexy. Hmm? You know, nowadays, men are so scary, so I have to look hot to catch one. <laughs> I don't want all those girls to call me Ole, yeah. <laughs> so what's up? Ah, uh, I need your help. I hope all is well. Mm-hmm. What is it? I need you to help me plan a surprise proposal. Oh my God! The Miss Mall girl is of the single list. Yep! I got a wedding to plan. So tell me, what and what do you want? Oh, come on. What are you saying?
she's not calling because I'm not gonna speak all this time. <laughs> <laughs> You're all funny. Hello? Oh no, we are on our way to White Maple. We're gonna have lunch. Do you wanna join us? What's happening at Orchid Hotel? <laughs> a surprise, really? <laughs> for real? See, I don't have time for this, though. What kind of a surprise is this? And then, I mean, I don't like surprises. Okay. If you say so, right? I'll be on my way. And this surprise better be worth it or else I will gag your eyes out. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'll see you soon. Only God knows what surprise this is. Frivolities, I guess. See, babe, Elena is never a serious person. Now, you should know this by now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, she wants us to, maybe she's calling because she wants to show us one big rich man that she just met. Or, or the new al Haji on the block. Exactly. <laughs> That's <laughs> that one, friend. I had no correct. Uh, she, she get really serious. Color, they worry that girl, babe. I hope you know that I'm not going to follow you for that kind of fish worker. Uh -uh, come on mm. now, please now. You want to leave me by myself, babe? I am super famished. Please, I oh. beg. Please, Kimberly, but you know I'm tired. I have a lot on my table. I can't just. Follow you because Elena of all people just called it. I'll just start following you. Kino, I have please, a lot to do. I'm sorry. Please don't let me go by myself. Yeah. What? Please don't. You know what? Let's just keep going. I am famished. Okay. That's more important to me, I beg. Elena is not my problem right now. She's gonna be all right. Yeah, trust me. with me. She'll be fine. Trust me, I beg. But I want you to. I'll be there next year. <laughs> oh my god. Elena is such a joke. You have a time, now you get a time, now we dance out. <laughs> okay, no problem. And you, my love. <laughs> and I love you too. But let's go eat first. I'm super hungry. Just one more Trust me, when you go there. It's not going to pass one allergy. Okay. <laughs> You're ready to kill her because trust me, you <laughs> Three. <laughs> You're dead to the Alina. One, one, two, two.
What are you doing? I'm sending it to Kimberly. Uh, <laughs> she's calling back. She's calling back. She's calling back. She's calling back. Finally, it did. Yes. So yes, 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 yes. Oh my God, Elena has a wedding to plan. <laughs> did he put it in a drink? For <laughs> yeah, this this one here, he planned it all with Elena, right? You know, he had Elena tricked me to a restaurant and find you his slippers. Ooh, wow. <laughs> God, I'm so happy for you. Oh, wow, this course for celebration. Good. Congratulations, my dear friend. Hello, wow. mom. Hey, how are you? Uh, I'm sorry, mom. I can't come home right now. I'm busy. I'm busy with something. Yes. Hello, mom. Hello. That's your mom? What happened? Yeah, she wants me to come home right away. Right away? Right away? Does she think that you're a child that she can just toss you around like that? I'm sorry, babe. I have to answer her. Okay, I don't want her trouble. This is our day. Our day you literally just proposed to me. We haven't even celebrated. We haven't done anything. And then you're running back home like a sulking child. Hey, come on, babe. You're overreacting. That's not fair. I'm overreacting. All right, you just take me back to the office. I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. You can run back home to your mom. George proposed to a girl and I don't know? What is wrong with this boy? What? No background check, nothing. 
Just like that. I hope this boy doesn't bring a peasant to my house. I just hope he doesn't drag this family name through the mud. George will have me to contend with. <laughs> Woo! Girl, like this sounds like music to my ears. Huh. I can't believe you're officially getting married. My dear. I'm so happy for you, my dearest friend. <laughs> oh, thank you. Please say it out loud. Okay. Let me back to him. <laughs> Increase the volume. <laughs> I have been in anticipation. I'm just wondering, will this ever happen to me? Oh. And alas, he put the ring. He put the ring. Oh. 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 Put the ring on it. Okay. Ah! Man, so, my girl is gonna walk down the aisle soon. Mm hmm. Walk, you say? Mm hmm. Honey, I am marching down the aisle. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Love, love, love. It's so beautiful. Uh -huh. Ooh! Get it! Eat chalk! Oh, my chalk! Eat chalk! And that was mine. You know that I am the one planning your wedding. It's not in contest. Mm -mm. As a best friend, I'm going to give you a friendly discount. Oh, is that a contest? Tell her. No, mm -hmm. man, this is your gig, honey. Take the floor. Take it up. But need I remind you that George has money. We don't need discount. Tell her. I, know. I, know. I just did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I just did. Mm -hmm. Wait, just wait. How you text him, my friend? Hmm? You think to marry rich Bobo is a joke? He's not. Tell her. <laughs> God. Especially in this modern time when men are snatching our men. <clears throat> God. The God that did it for my friend should come and do my because currently I think I'm approaching menopause. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't laugh. See, it's not that bad. Very soon you'll find love. Girl, I cannot wait. Honestly, I think I'm losing it. I am gradually losing it. <laughs> so that means I need to plan for six to weddings. Wow. You know, that's my calling. <laughs> ah. Girl, what's the problem? Are you okay? Oh, oh no, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, it's just some thoughts in my head. I've just been thinking. Thinking about what? That when I marry George, uh, I will have a lot of issues. I'm, I'm trying to suppress, no, don't get me wrong. I'm trying to suppress, suppress this thoughts, but it just keep flooding in. That thoughts that is flooding in should better flood out. Because the George that I know can never look outside, girl. So just relax, okay? Kim. George can never cheat. That is not what I'm talking about. So what are you talking about? I think, I don't even think, George is a mommy's boy. Oh. He cannot do anything without calling his mother or his mother calling him. It's like it's his mother over and over everything and anything. Oh, please, hmm. don't tell me you're jealous. Come on. I think she is. His mother is a mother and George is the only son. I don't expect her to just let go of him like that. Please and don't make that. it look like one big deal. I'm not getting it right. I know where you're coming from. Like, from birth, we're taught to respect our parents, love them, whatnot. I know that. But when your relationship with your mother is affecting other people's relationship, you, my friend, are mommy's boy. Sasha, you're looking for fault and it's not cool. Stop it. Okay? I, I, I don't care what you, you think you're right now because I want a wedding. <laughs> yeah. And I want to wear a brider dress. I, 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 and nothing bridesmaid. is going to stop me from doing that. Bridesmaid. Let's just give so a cheers to this bridesmaid. beautiful <laughs> celebration. <laughs> Woo! Cheers to this. Cheers! Cheers! Woo! Girl, I'm so happy oh, for you. I, I need to walk my down. I need to look up. Jonathan. I know. Hey! I'm going to mother the day. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want the two of you looking faster than me, though. Material girl, I'm a pro max! My darling. Yeah? I'm gonna slip. Okay! Hey! 
A girl I have not met? I love her more. Who cares? Love comes from where? Who is she? What's her surname? What's her background? Did you do a background checkup for a woman you want to spend the rest of your life with? Mom, she's a lawyer. She's a responsible woman. A child and bill lawyer, you mean? Oh, oh, okay, Mom, now I, I don't like this. There's no need being flippant with words, Mom. This is a woman I love. I no, no, I will not appreciate it. You using derogatory words on her. I won't. I mean, I expected you to be happy for me. Oh, no. You're still my son. From the lawyers of Obidi Kanosi, my late husband. You are still accountable to me. So I must be fully involved in your marriage. You see, this is what I don't like, Mom. You, you do this all the time. Talk to me as if I'm a 10-year-old child. I'm not. Listen to me, son. Marriage is a beautiful institution. There's no doubt. But having a perfect mate to travel along the life with you is the best thing that can happen to any man, I tell you. I can bet your life on it. Oh, yes. I know you must get married. But the woman must meet all the characteristics of an ideal wife. Mom? I love Sasha, and I must marry her. The sound of her name irritates me. Oh, yes. Are you sure she's not one of those girls that stands at Falomo? Are you, are you sure that's the real name her mother gave her? Are you sure? Oh, son, wake up and smell the coffee. Oh, you think you're still at Lala Land? Okay. If you insist you must marry her, then invite her for a meeting. Yes, I want to meet her. Let me do a thorough assessment and make sure she fits the role. Fits the role, really? Oh, yes. I want to make sure you're not making a bad choice. Mom, I'm 30 something years old. Bad choice. Come on, cut me some slacks here. So tacky. What is she wearing? This is not classy. This is a bad now. A bad everywhere. Oh my god. This girl looks like a bush girl. I don't see anything classy about this girl. She looks like a bush girl. What's all this? No, no, this girl can't measure. She can't measure. No. No way. I'm sorry. It's looking so local. What? My friends will definitely love me to scum. What is this? Oh no. Please. What? Oh no, 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 no. She can't measure up, I'm sorry. She can't measure up. No, I'm sorry. Mm. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Where have you been? 
Good. To my husband to be. <laughs> You're not freaking with me right now. <laughs> hey, come oh, on. Yeah. 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 Hey, take it easy. What? Yeah, I'll, I'll be home right now. Okay, I'm sorry. Can we, for once, just have our time together without any interference? Baby, don't start, please. Don't, okay. What do you mean by don't start? How about, why doesn't she give you a breather for once? Why do you sound like you want me to get rid of my mother? <laughs> Judge, don't put words in my mouth. All I'm asking is that I need my own time with you, and that's not too much to ask. Let's not do this right now, okay? I'll see you when I'm back. I'm sorry, babe. with you on Saturday. Oh, wow. I can't wait. <laughs> I like that. So I need you to look good for me that day. Oh, baby, you're putting me under pressure. I'll try my best though. I know you will. I want you to wear designer gown, bracelets, necklace, good hair, you know, designer shoes. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Don't tell me your mother is only concerned with appearance. Mm -hmm. That's not what I mean. Just look good for me, okay? Anyway, I will look good for you, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I have to go back to the office, okay? Sorry. I'll see you on Saturday. I know. Let me just watch you leave majestically. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> It is not humble. It is hmm. tastefully furnished. Yeah, all well, thanks to my mother. It's all her. She is a classic and sophisticated woman. You should see her in her glory. Everything about her is it class and flamboyant. Hmm. Here we go again. <laughs> I know. such a pleasure to finally meet you. She mm. look good. Thank you, you too. <laughs> you too. Thank you, I know. I'm beautiful and rich. <laughs> Get up. Get up. <laughs> Turn around. Turn around. 
Hmm. This. Did you do rhinoplasty? My nose? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. And your lips? No, I don't have any fillers. They're all natural. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, mom. <laughs> My woman is all set. Natural, yeah? Quiet, son. What do you know? Boys will always be boys. I'm sorry for asking, you know. I travel wide. And you know this thing about plastic surgery can make an ugly donkey into a swan. Yeah, no. I'm not done. Get up. Uh, um, you actually need to lose some weight. You know, if my son eventually marries you, I don't want you looking like his grandmother at the village. So you have to lose some weight. Your hair, I like your hair. Is that Cambodian hair? No, it's not Cambodian, it's just natural, natural king, natural hair. Oh, come on, that can be natural virgin hair. Oh, no, it's, it looks punchy. It can't be. You know what? I'm going to buy you good hair. Good Brazilian hair when my son eventually marries you. You can now sit. Thank you very much. <laughs> son, get her something to drink. Father married an asset, a woman with a pedigree, a woman in billion. It's quite evident. Mm -hmm. You see, son, when I met your father, he was a man in the world. Mm. There was money to blow around. He was very rich. Women love him. Dianozi's name stood solidly behind him, but he would have failed if I had not intervened. You know, the devil with all his trails didn't go to Adam because he would fail. He went to that one thing that a man cannot resist, his wife. You need a woman that can back you up, that can strengthen you just like I did to your father. Well, let me adopt the general saying, you never can judge a book by its cover. Yeah, right, mom. <clears throat> Babe, why don't you tell mom our wedding team? Go ahead, Mika. Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. Well, the wedding planner, who happens to be a friend, she's very professional what she does. She's good. So she was thinking that we should have a more formal contemporary wedding. Uh -huh. right? What? I think it's... Oh, no. A big no. That wedding team has to be reviewed. Spends that kind of money on wedding these days. 
Marriage you're never sure is going to last half a year. Mom. Please. Oh, yes, son. We are rich, no doubt. But we don't have money to play around. Excuse me. My baby. Don't baby me. Hey. George, you didn't tell me I was in for trouble when, when, when I accepted your proposal. Hey, what trouble? Your mother. Your mother is a trouble. Come on, she's just being a mother. And I'm being what? A spendthrift that whose bright essentials are frivolous? Babe, now you're trying to make a mountain out of a molehill. Your mother that is making a mountain. Choosing a planner for me? So will she be the one to, to name the children when I finally pop them out? Hey, you're being melodramatic now. It's not nice. George. See, I love you. And I will be your bride. But I did not sign up for a med medley mother in law. I didn't. Hey, come on, get it together. You should, why don't you get it together and, and just stay out of my business? Can you take hey. me home? Please. I know you feel the pain in my heart Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart But you've chosen to do your things ignoring how I feel This is what I've been going through in a woman's hand. Hmm. I mean, she, she berates me at every slight second she gets. Hmm. Babe, are you sure you can do this? Sorry, do not get me wrong, because marriage is a lifetime commitment. I know. I'm just crazy about George. But you know we can still love and live again, right? Hmm? In fact, this is part of the reasons why, you know, most women believe that let their mother-in-law dies before they get married. Because of yeah, cases like this. exactly. Sasha, I just have to tell you the truth. You are trying. You are really trying. I know fits. I can't. Eh? <laughs> I cannot marry a man who is still tongue-tied to his mother. Okay, let me ask you a question. So what if the mother instigates him against you one day? That's the point you have right there, what Kim. What are you going to do? And she still lives with him in the same house. Yes. Okay, my sister, you did try. If and now I believe that George eh, is a strong 
Mommy boy. You know what? The one that even cracks my head open is her clingy attitude towards him. Hmm. It is annoying. I hate it. I mean, I understand that she's the one who gave him the contract that is financing him right now, but oh, mom, come on, it's time for you to cut your legal cord. And so? Mm, that's not enough reason, girl. Just relax. Huh? Can't you get something else better? Huh? No, no tell me. Can, can't he? I beg, forget about that one. Let me hear something much better. Uh-uh. Okay. You know what? Let's just do it this way. Can you maybe just call the mother and then speak to her about all of this? Mm -hmm. And then if all of this attitude continues after marriage, then she has to step back for you to enjoy your marriage, girl. With judge, of course. Am I making some sense? Absolutely. I, okay. I, I'll, I'll have to talk to her. Not like you have to talk to her. You need to talk to her. Okay? I don't like what I hear so. So, have you thought about the dress you're going to wear on your day? Not yet, but um, Kimberly and I have um, made arrangements to go into shopping and pick. Don't bother. I'll send you to a friend of mine. She deals with them um, foreign bridal wares. Classy ones and that. I'll send you over there. You go make a choice. And um, but, mommy, can no we... but. Please, I have a reputation. I don't want anything to tarnish my image. I don't want you wearing cheap wedding gown. Then uh, what about the bouquet? Do you have anyone in mind? I haven't picked one yet. Okay. I will ask my friend to order for me. Thank you, ma. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for my son. Don't want anything to disgrace us on that day. And, um, yes, um, bridesmaids, how many are you looking at? Um, my friends, like about five of them. Oh, God, please. Yeah. Um, okay, five is not a bad number, three, four, five, yeah, it's okay, that can fly. And, um, Kitras. We are here to figure that out. Um, I will handle it, so I can get the test I want. I will take care of the Kitras, the drinks. I'll fix all that. Their noses must be well represented. What else should we be looking at?
When are we going for our honeymoon? You said we'll go to Seychelles. Yeah, we're still going to go by next week. I cannot wait to change the environment. I need somewhere new, by the beach. Oh. I know, me too. <laughs> you know what? What? I'm such a lucky man. God really blessed me with you, Sasha. And I'm serious when I say it. You really complete me. Uh -uh -uh. Let me hold you there. I have the lucky one. Hmm. Baby, see, you handle me at my very worst. I know. Very well. And that is why you deserve the best. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I overheard your wife blabbing about honeymoon in Sitches. Mom, you know you've struggled to my conversation? It doesn't matter. Come on, son. Honeymoon is now overrated and outdated. Come on, Mom. That's not a good thing to tell your son who is just newly wedded. Son, save that money. You have other things to do with money. Pay your debt. You know I'm aware of your non-performing loan you collected. I am aware. Don't let them come for you. You can take your wife out. Take her out, spoil her, and come back. Honeymoon is honeymoon. You don't have to go skydiving just to achieve honeymoon. No, you don't. planning even before our marriage all of a sudden you're changing why do you why do you, why do you like changing horses in the midstream yeah, i'm sorry i'm sorry okay but look we are talking about money here money we can use to invest in big business okay why would we lavish it on just honeymoon come on you know the capital market is not what it used to be mm. hey, i hope you understand my stand oh, on this of course i understand and i understand that your mother is behind all of this but it's okay. It's my loss. Bobby. There's no but. It's got to work. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, oh, oh. I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, oh, oh. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depths of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever. Baby girl. Hey. How long have you been standing there? Long enough to know that something is bothering you. Um, would you like to tell me? There's nothing bothering me, trust me. I'm fine. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm very sure. Um, lunch? Are you interested? Oh, sure, girl. I am famished. <laughs> lunch is on me. Woo! Mrs. Anna C. <laughs> so, what about your honeymoon? Uh, where, where's it going? We're definitely going for it. It just, the George had to travel for a business trip. You know how men and money can be. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. My girl, you know you are so lucky. <laughs> He's the best man ever. Yes. So, what about Kimberly? Is she coming? I sent her a text. And um, she said she'll meet us up. Yes, her message just came in. She said she'll meet us up. Okay. Right. Let's go. I could do oh. something really cool to this afternoon. <laughs> that woman is 
Evil is the word. I detest her. I mean, why does she always have to have the last say in everything? Wait a minute. Why can't you tell your husband to ask her to leave the girls alone? Mm -hmm. Because from the look of things, she's, she's only going to have a say in your marriage. Even if you try to make your husband to see reasons with you behind closed doors. Just one phone call from dear mommy. Or everything is changed completely. Here. If you like, you plan a vacation, a romantic vacation for two. It's going to turn out to be a family vacay because of course it's very easier for him to tell you no than to the mother. <clears throat> Wait. Are you telling us that it's because of that woman you didn't go for your honeymoon? But what do you expect me to do now? Confront her. Huh? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be a recipe for disaster? Uh -uh. If I'm, I'm not even mincing words when I say that I have developed cold feet. Hell no. I stand with what Kim says. Okay. Yes, you have to confront her. Who is she? I don't understand. Is she Queen Elizabeth? No. Please give me five. Please. What is it? Well, you need to meet her first before you talk like this. Oh, oh she's a giant. She beat me up in that house by talking anyhow. Ah, because she wants it to, 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 to happen because she can't try that with me. Hell no. Uh, nothing, just getting the clothes ready for the laundry man. For the laundry guy? Why laundry guy? Your wife should clip off her acrylic and wash her husband's clothes with her bare hands. Even her own clothes too. What's the big deal? I'm not complaining, man. You don't need to complain to me, son. No, you don't. She should start living like a housewife. I bet you she doesn't know the duties of a housewife because you're pampering her. You know what? I'm going to tell her. Leave those clothes there. She's going to wash them. I washed your father's clothes with my bare hands for 17 good years. Oh, yes. Even when we had three washing machines in the house, I washed the clothes. Um, that was then, not now. Oh, really? No, son. You already have a false obligation surrounding the perception of your marriage. It's time you draw the line. About time you set the boundaries for her. Huh? Mommy, you should have knocked now. Why should I knock? It's equally my house. Sorry. You're wondering why I came to see it. Yeah. Because I'm famished. Oh, yes. I need you to prepare me fried rice and chicken. It's what I craved for. But I made jello fries, so it's in the freezer. I can shut it. I don't eat leftovers. It's not leftover. I can quickly warm it up. I said, you. shut it. I want my food fresh and new. Are you deaf? I need you to go to the kitchen, prepare me fried rice and chicken. Do not tarry. That's one highest offense in my book. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. Why are you coming back by this time of the night? Good evening, ma'am. Keep your greetings to yourself. Mommy. How can a legally married woman be coming back home by this time? I'm asking you. Are you the only married lawyer? No, tell me. You can't even take care of your home. 
You can't clean, you can't cook proper meal. You know what? It's time you choose between your marriage and your job. Excuse me? You heard me right. You will quit that job. That doesn't even give you time to take care of your home and your family. I'm a lawyer. Mommy, I cannot just wake up and quit my job. Oh, really? If you like, be a son or a judge. You're so quitting that job. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depths of my heart. But you've chosen to. I can't, I can't quit my job. You made me a lawyer, and that is what I'm going to be. Yeah, well, I never needed a working class lady. Well, you never said you wanted a full-time housewife, because if you did, I would have looked elsewhere. Well, you still need to quit that job, okay? I need you to focus. I need you to concentrate on making babies. This is not my husband talking. Your mother is talking through you. What is wrong with the people in this family? How did I even get here? Let me just count my mother. Out, I please. worked myself through school. I know what I went through law school. And you want me to throw all those years away and, and, and sit in your kitchen and be a, a maid and cook and clean? I, I should sacrifice my, my whole career for this marriage, really. Then we should consider a divorce. trying to quit your job for this walk in the park called marriage? You can't do that. This guy made you as a lawyer. Exactly. We don't want the stress, please. You know what? I don't think any man can do that to me. Not in this life. And now, he's threatening you with divorce if you don't quit your job. Who does that? I can imagine. I don't know what to do. Girl, listen to me. Oh. Girl, there are a million things not to do, okay? That to be without family. Oh God, just take a walk and save yourself some stress. Take a walk and get your life back. Sasha, Kimberly is right. You need to leave. Come on. You have to. I don't want history to repeat itself. I don't want what happened to my mother to happen again. I mean, my father left. I know how 
hard it was for her to single-handedly raise me. I had to make a promise to her that I will keep my home a safe heaven for myself and my children to come. I just need a strength, a strength to just go through this phase. Listen to me, girlfriend. Heaven help those who help themselves. Exactly. Are you really quitting your job because of this man? Like, are you for real? I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You shall receive That's the rule of life What you do unto me When it comes to you How shall I you that you can bear it What you do unto me When it comes to you How shall I you that you can bear it in my eyes oh you hear the cry from the depth of my heart but you've chosen to do your things ignoring how i feel you hear the cry from the depth of my heart but you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever, tables turn around. What you give, you shall receive. That's the rule of life. What you do unto me when it comes to you, how shall I? You can bear it. What you do unto me when it comes to you, how shall I you that you can bear it?
San Jose. You are medically okay. You are fine. Just, just take it easy with yourself. You don't have any problem, eh? Uh, you can just um, put things in prayers. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You don't need to thank me. I'm only doing my job. We've been married and there's no sign of pregnancy. You know, I've prayed. Jody, I've prayed countless times for a child and it's not even a miscarriage. But oh, babe, come on. We are still young in this marriage, okay? Children will come. When? I'm, I'm not even perturbed about the situation because I know you will give me beautiful children. He asked you when, when? Is it when they start to call me Baron? <laughs> I just... I feel like I'm not living up to expectation. You know without the cry of a child in this house, this home is not complete. I, I know the stigmatization that comes with a woman not being able to have a child after marriage. Even if it's just a couple of years or even a few months. A few months. A few months. They'll start to call her names. They'll start to... Everybody just starts to talk. Don't, don't, don't do this. Don't cry, please. You know I hate it when you cry. It hurts me, okay? Please. I'm just, I'm just tired. No, no, no. Don't, don't do that, okay? Children will come. <laughs> Children will come. Okay. Please just sleep.
Those clothes I asked you to wash. After washing them, I don't want to see any stain on them. You mean all the clothes in the laundry? Oh, yes. You barren witch. I don't know where my precious son picked you up from. I don't know the dodge on where he picked you up from. And what are you still waiting for? Oh, please. Mommy, good day. I'm sure you're hungry. Your food is almost ready. I'll serve you very soon. in my eyes oh you hear the cry from the depths of my heart but you've chosen to do your things ignoring how i feel you hear the cry from the depths of my heart but you've chosen to do your things Ignoring how I feel Nothing lasts forever Tables turn around What you give you shall receive That's the rule of life What you do unto me When it comes to you how sure are you that you can bear it? What you do unto me when it comes to you? I hope you're enjoying the meal. I must admit, you're a good cook. Thank you. But that is not all that makes a good woman. They say the delicacy of a good meal tells how much has been drained into it. I'm worried sick about my son's future. My son is a rich guy. But for how long will this continue to be like this? Almost one year of marriage without a child. <sighs> Since you moved into this house, I have watched my son's wealth melt into expensive meals, cars, clothes.
overnight to have turned into an interior decorator. <sighs> you swim in money, you don't know how it's made. You want to squander my son's money? After which, are you going to stay? Are you going to suffer with him without a child? I'm asking you. You want to come and finish my son's money without giving him any babies? Barry. What is it again? Is it not your mother? What did she do? She told me that I have no future with you. She told me that to my face. And then she said that I'm always squandering your money. That I'm always buying nonsense, expensive clothes. I mean, when, when has it become a crime for a woman to enjoy the luxuries of her husband, George? Babe, um, look. Hey. Don't mind her, okay? Don't. So in situations like this, look at my face and not hers, okay? You know what? Just stay here, I'll be right back, okay? Don't cry, please. I know you feel the pain in my heart, oh. I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, oh you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. What has Sasha done to you for you to have uttered such an uncomplimentary remarks about her? I need grandchildren. Is that too much to ask? I'm not getting any younger. I need grandchildren. Other than cooking and eating like buffaloes. Mom, that is not enough reason for you to subject her to that emotional torture. Mom, because you want grandchildren, come on. Our marriage is barely a year. I said it. I said it that that girl will ruin you one day, but not while I'm alive. Look at my mates have grandchildren scattered in the States. I am here, stuck with one man in the name of a woman. I tell you this, I give you six months. If I don't see any sign of pregnancy, I will get you a woman fertile enough to give me grandchildren. Mom, please. Please, give my wife a breather. She is fertile. I know she is fertile. Please. Then check yourself. Never give her a breather, never. Let her continue eating your money, squandering your money, cooking food. Don't forget the loan you collected from Seth Audley. Don't forget the non-performing loan you collected from him. Go and pay. Remember that this house, you used it as a collateral. Yeah, no, man, just keep, keep, keep that out of this, Seth, whatever. Sefa is still in the States. <laughs> Sefa is in the States. So he's not going to come back. Mom, please. I'm begging you. Okay? I love my wife. Just, just leave her alone. Please. I love her and that's all that matters. Please. Look at you. Take a very good look at yourself. Love that is capable 
a love that is capable of subjecting you to a fruitless marriage. Is that what you want? Judge, open your eye to the real things of this world. Don't say I didn't warn you. I warned you. pregnant if you're not making love to me or touching me. Well, I believe you want to have babies too. <laughs> I don't want to engage in fruitless sex with you. Alright. All it does is make you add right front, back, center. That's just it. I don't want to just leave me alone. I want to sleep. Did you not hear me? What is your problem? I said leave me alone. I want to sleep. Baby, you need to stop this for goodness sake. Why the sudden change of attitude? I'm your wife. George. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel You hear the cry from the depth of my heart but you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever. Tables turn around. What you give, you shall receive. That's the rule of life. What you do unto me when it comes to you. How sure are you that you can bear it? Breakfast is ready. I'm not hungry.
take a look at me. A qualified lawyer. Just sitting in the kitchen like a, a maid without a certificate or a degree. What have you done to yourself, Sasha? What? Why? Is all this necessary? I'm not supposed to cry. I'm not supposed to cry. This is what I signed up for. This is what I signed up for. And when the time comes, God, he will just you see me through. I'm not, I'm not supposed to cry. I just I just want this whole thing to just pass. Am I not doing something right? <sighs> Should we <be> cry? <laughs> Should we cry? I'm just going to see my friend Kimberly. She's not been around for a while. She was at my wedding, you remember? She's been at Maurice's church. She just came back. I want to go and see her. Dressed like this? In these tacky clothes? Just take a good look at yourself. Just take a very good look at yourself. You dress like a prostitute. If you don't mind, turn around. Go in there and change what you're wearing. But mommy, there's nothing wrong with what I'm wearing. Oh, please. You want to disobey me? Go back and change what you're wearing, my friend. I'll go and change. Good. What is this? about this? They've turned me into a maid. In my own home. So his mother makes jest of me. She calls me all sorts of names. Just because I have not had a child yet. Oh my lord. Has it gotten to that extent? You cannot even begin to imagine. I live in fear. Every day I'm afraid to wake up because I don't know how I'm going to run a day with a cantankerous mother-in-law. In that house, I've become a shadow of myself. Is this what people go through to stay married? Is this what people go through? Sasha. <laughs> Listen to me, okay? You actually went into the marriage with a clean heart. Yes. And I know that my God in heaven will definitely vindicate you. And it's going to wipe away your tears. Okay? And make you smile, my love. My dear. God is not going to do anything unless you leave that marriage. Just look at you. Look at yourself. They have turned you into the shadow of yourself. Yeah, I know you made a promise to your mother. But there are some promises you have to let go. I know your mother will not be happy to see her precious daughter suffer in the hand of the man just because she wants to remain married. I'm confused. You cannot just say it like that. I don't know what to do. That's the problem. What do I do? I just need you to give me a solution. What do I do? It's okay. <laughs> what it's okay. do I do? It's okay. 
okay. Listen to me. We are your friends. We can never lead you astray. You need to lead that marriage. Oh, good! It's not as easy as you say, Lisa. It's not as easy as you say. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Sasha, everything is going to be fine. Believe me. I hate that woman so much. I really hate her so much. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're strong and my God is gonna pull you through. Believe. We are here. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever. Tables turn around. What you give, you shall receive. That's the rule of life. What you do unto me when it comes to you. How sure are you that you can bear it? What you do unto me when it comes to you. How sure are you that you can bear it? I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever. Tables turn around. What you give, you shall receive. That's the rule of life. What you do unto me when it comes to you. How sure are you that you can bear it?
low sperm count? If you know how to break this news to Sasha, don't you ever, don't you ever say a word to her. Break which news? Don't try it. Don't you ever try it. Where is the result? It's in the room. Why? Go and get it. Hurry up. She must not say it. Yes, what? His important test results? So it wasn't me the whole time. It wasn't me with the ruptured wound. It wasn't me that's a stupid, barren girl. It was your son, your precious son, that had low sperm count and he couldn't get me pregnant. I, I cannot believe that you put me through all the stress all the, the whole time for nothing. You stressed me out to the point that I couldn't sleep at night. My hair had been falling out of stress. My, my skin is discolorated because you're stressing me out. I'm going back and forth to IVF. I'm going to see GPs every week. Taking injections for nothing. And it was your son the whole time? Please, I can explain. Explain what? George, explain more that you can't get me pregnant. And, 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 and your mom has, has been blaming me the whole time. And, 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 and you, what baffles me is the fact that the two of you are still sat here planning on how to cover up the truth and continue to blame me for everything. You, you especially a terrible person. Watch your mouth. You dare not talk to me in such manner. You watch your mouth. Oh no, I won't tolerate that. But, by the time I go and tell the whole world how your precious judge, Anozie, is impotent, then you know how I feel watch. No, you won't. No, you won't! Hey, Sasha. Hey, hey, Sasha. Test, mm. all right? We can do another one and confirm. Mm. I, I still don't believe that test. Please, mm. please my daughter. Who is your daughter? Please, please don't go. Who is your daughter? We don't want to lose you, please. Me, Sasha. Please. Mama, you have only one child in this house. And that is him. So don't confuse me as one of your offsprings, okay? Please. Let me just tell you that all your companies will be paid back in 10,000 for because I did nothing wrong to you people. Oh, please. For a woman who desperately wanted me out of her wimpy son's life. Now she's now saying, oh, don't go. We don't want to miss you. How slick. I'm sorry. And then you guys will put me on through all this stress. And the whole time, it was his fault. Babe, please, I'm like, I know. Just don't go, okay? We we'll do another test, yes. all right? So we confirm. I, I don't Confirm think... what? Confirm, confirm what exactly? You're going to do another test to buy more sperm? Or to learn how to lie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, it's my fault. I'm, I'm sorry, babe. Okay. Yes. Okay. You're sorry for what? What exactly are you sorry for? What? Let's just do another test. And yes. Test. Yes. What is it that's going to do for me? You don't have to pass us. You. You have been putting me through so much stress. I'm begging you, please. And the whole time, the whole time, it was your fault. But you never spoke for me for once, and I've been nothing but a good wife to you, George. I was just, I was just trying to make sure that my family works out. I just trying to make sure that everything works out in this family. But now, now, your mother will not let us be. I know. She 
She talks me down. She degraded me. She dehumanized me in this house. And you kept quiet. So and now you try to, you're planning to hide a secret from me. Please. Don't touch me! to do huh you're trying to have sex with what exactly is it that watery star substance that is there that cannot even get a cockroach pregnant is what you want to use to pound on me and exhaust my energy for nothing okay there's soap in the bathroom okay Use it to help yourself. It's too full now. You know, I've been drinking yogurt and all those. Even the 1000 that you have been doing, nothing came out of it. I drank it, so, so, so I've been so something. George, there is no us. Okay? There is no relationship between light and darkness. I don't see any connection between fertile and infertile. So if you don't mind, I'm trying to get ready for today. I need space. I need space, George. Please.
Get up! Go and sit down there, please. I want to eat something. Something spicy. Mm, let me think. Pepper soup. Yeah, pepper soup. I want to eat pepper soup. We should go and cook for you. If you don't go and cook it, I will tell the whole world that... Um, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I will order for it. I will order for chicken and... Order what? Do you want to poison me? I want homemade pepper soup. Oh, it's okay, Sasha. Uh, no problem. I'll call my cousin to come and prepare the food for me. Which cousin exactly? Those ones that are miles away? I'll be dead before they get here. I just want to understand. Will your cousin be coming here to cook for me when I finally have my baby? That's what I thought. As a matter of fact, I want the both of you to get into that kitchen and make me something spicy. <sighs> you mean you want us to go and go? No! Hmm? Now? We'll, we'll prepare something spicy for you. Hey, and you have one hour to make it. I'm very famished. Failure to meet up with the deadline, there will be grave consequences. I know you feel the pain in my heart. See the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever. Tables turn around. What you give, you shall receive. That's the rule of life. What you do unto me when it comes to you, I'll show. You can be what you do unto me when it comes to you. I'll show you that you can be it. Tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. Nothing lasts forever. Tables turn around. What you give, you shall receive. That's the rule of life. What you do unto me when it comes to you, how shall I? You can bear it. What you do unto me when 
when it comes to you How sure are you that you can bear it? something I need to tell you. Can we please reach a truce? Please. What truth, if I may ask? Now we say. Yeah. I saw Sefa's picture on Instagram. It seems he's back. What? I'm not sure. But the picture I saw looks like a cool hotel and suits. No, Mom. He, he can't be back. No. No, he can't be back. I'm not sure. If you say so. Just find means of keep paying the loan. I'll go to my shop next week. 
and I'll see what I can contribute. My child. Hmm. The baby will not die in Jesus' name. Eh? Okay. This is devil incarnate is calling Jesus. My son is not dead. Huh? Devil number one. Easy, easy, easy. Mm. Ah. Isn't she? for years yet I still have not received my money the grace of this loan is over and I am here 
for the collateral. Sefa, please allow me to explain, okay? Explain what exactly? That I gave you a loan of 200 million, spending for one year, and now it's the second year. George, how things can you be? Please, please, just give him some time. He's going to pay. That is one thing I don't have right. I traveled and I was deported from Canada. I came back last like year and I traveled to Sweden. The same thing happened. I was deported. You see, the 200 million is my only hope to start all over again. So, it is either my 200 million or this house. Okay. Look, um, please let me come book something. I'm I don't have time for that. If you. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you. What are you doing here? Uh, who is Evie? Sasha? She's your wife? Yes, of course, she's my wife. Look, I was thinking since Since I can't be able to get you pregnant, uh, why not uh, go outside and get pregnant? Yeah, just pick any man of your choice. Uh, I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> Babe, there is no other way out. The Anos here's dynasty must progress.
who is safer. I'm asking you, how did you know Sefa? I'm asking you a question. How did you know Sefa? Uh, you know, you know when you asked me to go out and get pregnant? He was the person I met online. And... Um, and what? He, he got me pregnant. I know you'll feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you'll see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry from the depth of my heart. But you've chosen to do your things, ignoring how I feel. You hear the cry from the depths of my heart But you've chosen to do your things Ignoring how I feel Nothing lasts forever Tables turn around What you give you shall receive That's the rule of life What you do unto me when it comes to you, how sure are you that you can bear it? Allow us carry our luggage. Why? Is that the least thing they could have allowed us to do? So, where do we go from here? Why are you asking me that question? Am I your Messiah? What is that supposed to mean? Imelda Anos here. Did you just call me by my name? My mother. What else do you want? What? What do you want from me? Have you not 
Have you not destroyed my life enough? What do you want? You want my blood? My, is it what you want? My blood? Son, why are you talking like that? You don't talk to me like that. I'm your mother. <laughs> I'm not sure you fit into that title anymore. You are not your mother. You are a deceiver. Conniving, lousy. You are by far the worst example of motherhood I've ever encountered. Oh, sh just sh shut up! I, I, I will give it to you! I'm a one guy here! Shut that till you call my shut it up! You don't talk to me like that! All I did, I did for you! You've done nothing for me! Nothing! Everything you did, you did for your selfish, class conscious self! All the bad decisions I made in my life from you. And now they've come to haunt me. Oh my God. So I love you. I'm sorry, I love you. Love? This is not love. This is a prison. The same prison my father was in that led to his early grave. Because you just couldn't stop yourself, Mom. You couldn't stop yourself. You kept controlling him and leading him to make bad decisions. He sold all his property abroad. And when he realized that all he labored for has gone down the drain, he had a heart attack and he died. And now you want me to die, Mom? You want me to die, right? You won't die. I won't. I will resuscitate myself. I promise you this. You will never see me again. Ever. I'm going to leave your selfish grip and become the man I'm destined to be. No, George, please. No, George, please. Please, George. I'm sorry, Biko Baharam, Biko Baharam, Biko Baharam, Biko, 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 I'm sorry, George, I'm sorry, please, George, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry, This is me, got my job back, divorce George, happy with my daughter and living the life I had envisaged for myself. Don't let anything come between you and your happiness. Life is too short to live it in misery. Bye. I know you feel the pain in my heart. Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes. Oh, you hear the cry. From the depth of my heart But you've chosen to do your things Ignoring how I feel You hear the cry From the depth of my heart But you've chosen to do your things Ignoring how I feel You shall receive That's the rule of life What you do unto me When it comes to you How sure are you That you can bear it What you do unto me
when it comes to you How sure are you that you can bear it? I know you feel the pain in my heart Oh, I know you see the tears in my eyes Oh, you hear the cry from the depths of me.